It's Anna Grace Taylor here with your weekly angel reading for November 5th through to the 11th. I'm going to be using Radley Valentine's Angel Tarot cards. So let's see what the angels have to say for us first of all for Monday and Tuesday. All right, so here we go. The card for Monday and Tuesday as we begin the week is a gorgeous one. It's the wheel, Archangel Michael, a time of positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. Now, if you remember last week, the angels talked a lot about um, standing our ground, but choosing our battles at the same time and knowing that when we were clear and that when we really um, stayed in our integrity, things would move forward. So this is just following on from that and reminding us that Archangel Michael, a powerful Archangel, is here to help us. In fact, we're going to be learning about Archangel Michael in my Angelic Connection course starting today. So there's just a few hours left to register. If you don't want to miss out, the doors are open just until 9 a.m. Pacific, which is 5 p.m. UK time. So if you want to spend some time learning about Archangel Michael, lots and lots of the archangels, how you can communicate with them, how to do angel card readings like this, then I would love to see you there. I will post the link below in this video so that you can sign up if you would like to. Just a few hours left, so I would love you to join us if you're feeling guided. Okay, so back to the reading. Uh, this is Archangel Michael and he's saying again, I've said this many times recently and it feels like he's very present, but it's like what would you do if you knew that you had this powerful Archangel with you? How would you move forward? What choices would you make? Because he's saying that it's time to go for it, that you are so supported with what it is that you want to do, where, where you're headed. He's right beside you, he's right in front of you, wherever you want to imagine him to be. He is guiding your path right now and it is a beautiful time with lots of blessings. Okay, so it's a gorgeous start to the week. All right, so as we head into the middle of the week, we have another Archangel, Archangel Haniel, which is very appropriate because I believe that we're headed into the new moon in the next couple of days. I have to check that, but I'm pretty sure that it's soon. And she is a beautiful goddess, um, a goddess angel, I, I feel, of the moon. Very helpful for those of us who are really sensitive to deal with our sensitivity and particularly if we want to make the most of the moon cycle. So the new moon is great for manifesting, full moon is often a really beautiful time to release. If you imagine the moon as being full it's time to release and this card says important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. So this is a beautiful time to get clear about what it is that you desire to release fear, it doesn't mean that you have to be fearless, we're human, we, we, don't, we don't have to be fearless to move ahead, but just to really notice the voice again that is loving versus fearful. The angel's voice is loving and kind and supportive and empowering. Your fear voice is always just going to tell you that you can't, that you haven't got enough, that you're not enough, etc, etc. So Haniel is a really beautiful angel to call on through the middle of the week so that you can really trust your intuitive voice and move forward once again, just like Archangel Michael said. All right. And as we head into the weekend, oh, I love this card too. Nine of fire, don't give up, protect that which you have created, have courage and believe in yourself. So there is a theme through this week which is really about having confidence in who we are, trusting our path, moving forward, going ahead, doing it anyway even when we're a bit wobbly and not to give up. Obviously sometimes we would prefer to things happen to happen in our way, in our timing, but the angels are saying that even with bumps in the road or delays, it's important that we stay clear, that we really focus on what it is that we want 
and how we really believe in ourselves so that we can continue on our path and let the mystery of life unfold for us because we are doing great things and we must keep going. It's really important through these challenging times that we keep focused on what it is that we want to see in our experience, how we want to see the world, what it is that we want to share and then the angels will support us in going right ahead. We must, must ask them though. And that is also something that I will keep going on about in the Angelic Connection course because we must ask the angels for, for help for us to actually receive their help. They can't really help us unless we ask. And, and because of our free will, they're just waiting for us to ask so that they can intervene. So we must ask and then we must really believe in ourselves and our gifts, especially this week it seems. So sending you lots and lots of love. As I said, if you would like to join me for the course, you only have a few hours left, 9am Pacific, 5pm UK time, the doors close for this intake. So if you want to join us, we'd love to see you there. But if not, I will see you again, of course, on my Facebook page, as usual, sharing inspiration, lots of daily angel messages through the week, and uh, sending you lots of blessings. It looks like a really empowering, beautiful week to just keep moving forward, stay focused, and don't give up. Much love. Bye-bye.